So this review is a little late considering I got this gun when I got the Recluse. But a few things happened, a few games came out, and I honestly forgot to do the review, I'm not gonna lie. But with all the views, videos that I've been making and the plethora of shit that I wanna do before Shadow Keep comes out, decided I wanna do this before Shadow Keep comes out because when Shadow Keep comes out, I'm not gonna have time. So let's start off with how you're gonna have to get this gun, the quest steps, so to speak. You will need to get 75 double kills. You're gonna have to get calculate, calculated trajectory medals, which means you need to get three kills, all with grenade launchers, by the way, if that's not obvious. And you have to hit Fabled on the comp playlist. Bear in mind though, that if you do the quest steps in the comp playlist, then you get extra points towards these goals. So yeah, consider doing that because it'll be, mean it'll be faster for you. So after all these quest steps and get the gun, will you mow down everything in existence? Probably, but not for too long. Why? Well, let's get into why this gun's really good in the first place. So one of the good things about this gun is that this gun came out, if I remember correctly, Season of the Forge, which was the first season, uh, the first season after Forsaken. And at that time, grenade launchers weren't in the best place. If I remember correctly, this season, season of opul opulence, that's when it, the grenade launchers got that uh, damage boost, which made this gun really gross. So one of the biggest things that makes this gun really good is the fact that if you use it with a titan with rally, rally barricade if you use it with a warlock with the boots I, it is the name escapes from me right now the luna faction boots if you use any of those two characters you're pretty much gonna be doing mad dps because essentially you don't have to reload and when I say, when I said probably not, but not for too long is because in Shadow Keep, they're nerfing the auto reload. So with the new, with the new changes with Shadow Keep, it's just gonna mean a pretty substantial reload speed perk. So you'll be able to reload faster. So that's why I think Mountaintop is gonna lose a little bit of its relevancy because we won't have that anymore. For better or for worse, if you if you like the auto loader loading thing, I don't really care. I come from Destiny One where we didn't have that, so this was fun while it lasted. But I knew this was gonna get nerfed because it's trivializing literally everything. Doesn't mean I don't like it. It's just at the end of the day, there's a reason why people liked Atheon or Cro uh, not Crota Oryx. It's because they were hard, and it was a badge of honor. So I do miss that. But that's for another video. We're talking about Mountaintop. So I do think that once the changes come into place, Mountaintop will go down at just because the auto, the auto loading or the auto loading is just such a massive thing. Because on top of that, the damage that it does, Mountaintop also does have spike grenades, which do massive damage. And while we're talking about the perks, we might as well talk about the mountaintop perk, the intrinsic perk, which is micro missile. This weapon fires in a straight line and has a massive, massively increased projectile speed. So the really cool thing about it is you can shoot in a straight line. Doesn't matter. It has no drop off. So if you're looking at a guy from 100 meters away, you can shoot him with it. Don't worry, and not even you're not even gonna have to worry about the drop because there's no drop, so that's cool. But going back to why I think the mountaintop will lose relevancy, it's because we won't have auto loading anymore, which means stuff like Whisper, maybe Izanagi's Burden will becoming more of become more of a thing because of just the straight damage boost. In some cases, probably Whisper is just going to become better now because it does such a like massive amount of damage. And if you if you're hitting your crits, you're get you're reloading your your sniper immediately. So 
I do think the mountain tab is going to lose relevancy in PvE, but in PvP, it's still going to dominate. It's still going to do good, depending on the hold holder of it. Uh, this gun is basically kind of like it's a high skill weapon. Not a lot of people could really use it to its full potential, including myself. I can maybe do it every once in a in, every once in a while, but I've seen people do the nastiest shit with this gun. So. For me, this gonna this gun is gonna be good in the hands of people who can basically anticipate where you're gonna move because once that happens, it's game over. You're done. This gun will shoot in a straight line and destroy you. So this is a little weird of a, of a view considering I'm not reviewing the gun so much more the scope of the gun that has like what this gun has done to the PVE side of the game pvp side honestly it's not going to change much especially if we do get more powerful weapons in shadow keep i do think people are still going to use it me for sure i'm still going to use this gun i love this gun but if we get more powerful stuff or at the same level of this gun it's just going to add on to like the list of guns that we can use and i think that's i think that's more than fine i say this gun is well worth the grind that it is not so much anymore, but I still think it's worth it now. Even in Shadow Keep, when it comes out, you're still gonna use this in PVE. You're still gonna use it in PVE, but just not like top tier stuff anymore. You're not gonna be using this in raids. You're probably gonna use this like when you're like chilling, doing something. Because honestly, this this gun still does damage. It still does it. It's just you're not gonna be able to like shoot your whole round within one damage phase. So. That's pretty much it for the PvE side and PvP side. Well, a few things to note is things I've already said. The gun's fun to use, very snappy. I love it. It's it's just one of those guns that you really fall in love with because, especially like if you're really big on PvP, just kind of some of the potential you can see with this gun is just kind of mind blowing. Especially since like when you use this gun with a, like an SMG, considering like the Recluse. You can proc your master of arms immediately so a perfect example like i'll show you guys right now some some of the things i've done with it From what you guys saw in the video, literally I can pop a shot and since their health is so low, I just shoot like once and my, immediately my perk is activated and I can go in for a few for more kills. That's what I love about this gun. It really helps me just activate what I need to activate and go in for the kill. So that's my review for this gun. Is it worth it? Hell yes, it's worth it. You should get it. Like don't even think about it guys. It's a well-rounded gun for PvE or PvP, honestly. Not only that, but at the end of the day, it's just a gun that for sure I will always be using because it's just fun. And that's honestly what really just kind of moves me is if the gun's fun, I'm going to use it. So that's my review for it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Am I completely wrong about this gun? Is it OP? Should it be nerfed? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on my social media outlets. Links are in the description below and I will see you guys later.